Okay, uh, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining the Primo World Map Highlights. Uh, I will let Christine do the opening, explaining about the strategy. Christine? Um, hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon. Um, before we go into the roadmap details, I would like to take the opportunity to just share briefly some of our strategic considerations concerning, concerning discovery. Um, and I'd be very happy to get also your feedback on that. Obviously, in the roadmap presentation, we will go into details. We will go and talk, we will talk about specific features. But here, I would like to share some of the high-level thoughts that we have. I put four statements on this slide that I think are among the most important ones, really, when, when looking at moving forward with discovery. Um, these are, of course, of course, not the only ones. And you will see on our roadmap that there are many other areas that we are expanding. Um, we are increasingly investing into data intelligence research. The goal is to create more contextual and, and more smart services that allow the user to find material quicker and also allow for serendipitous discovery. Um, with the vast amount of material that we are now indexing in Primo Central and in Summon, um, we need to provide such features because often simply to have a search box and purely relying on search and ranking is, is not good enough um, anymore for the amount of available data. Um, just if you look at the, the indexes, we are well uh, beyond the, the 1 billion mark uh, in terms of what we are indexing. And in addition, of course, users' expectations also change. Um, they're just used to getting convenient push services from consumer platforms and social media, for example. Um, we started long ago with exploration services. Um, for example, BX is, uh, is, is one, and of course, also the citation trail. And we will talk about the related items feature later in this session. Um, there are a number of other research projects going on. Not all of them will mature enough to end up as features or, or as services in our discovery systems, but you will definitely see more of this over time. Um, data intelligence in general has become a core part of our discovery service. And I think that, that this is going to continue. Um, I think that what we already have seen, and, and uh, that will even be more the case in future, is a true move from, from search system to an intelligence discovery experience. So that was very short and important part of our vision where discovery is going. Um, as I said, there are, of course, other areas we are also expanding. And this is really what this roadmap presentation is about. But um, if you have any feedback about um, those more high level visionary thoughts about discovery, I'd be happy to hear that and to hear your thoughts about um, where discovery is, is going in your institution. So now we start with the roadmap areas and highlights. Um, we have four different areas. One is search and exploring, that is about search and ranking, but also the exploration services that I just mentioned. Then there is, of course, the um, user experience, that is the um, any user uh, interface um, features, and also, of course, services to help the users to find their, um, their material and manage it. Library empowerment is really about um, uh, configuration options for you. Um, how you can um, configure the system to fit best into your environment. And then we also have the open system. Of course, these are the APIs that are used by many of you to um, bring discovery into, diff in, into different areas in your website or in, into other services. And I pass this on to Nili. Thank you, Christine. So before we are going and drill down into the uh, roadmap features uh, with uh, details, uh, we would like to first share that the roadmap that we are presenting here is uh, is common and shared across all of the what we call Primo deployment flavor. So it is relevant both for Primo and both for Primo VE. We just want to mention here what is the release schedule. Primo is being released on quarterly release, and you can find here in the link the quarterly release schedule. And Primo V is a released monthly release, uh, same as Alma on the same uh, date, so you can be referred to the schedule over there. In addition to that, uh, we also uh, want to mention uh, that we are also working on the feature alignment uh, for Primo V. This is actually an outcome uh, or outcome of one of the of the Primo V summit that we had. Uh, in last uh, October or November. 
uh, when, and also with the conversation with the Primo uh, working group. Uh, so we uh, discussed with the customer what they would like to see and the plan for the Primo VE and uh, gather here a list of features that are planned to be, such as if you are a Primo VE customer and you are uh, looking for the normalization rules for search, uh, this is part of the roadmap, and this is published here, so you can find more details. And of course, uh, submit the case to ask more on those upcoming uh, features. So as said, this is the, a shared roadmap for Primo, Primo VE, and we would like to start with that. So we'll start first with the uh, area of search, search and exploring. Uh, we first mentioned the exploration for related reading. I just want to mention this was also mentioned last year in the roadmap. Uh, it took us more time to implement this, and uh, now uh, what we are actually would like to provide here with the exploration for related reading is uh, to create correlation between uh, entities such as uh, book to book chapters, book to book reviews, or chapter to other chapters. So uh, creating those correlations first behind the scene, uh, we are actually uh, building a, a database graph that creates those correlations. This is one of the smart services that uh, Christine mentioned in the beginning. So this is one of the explorations. So I would like to share a mock-up of that now that it's more uh, finalized. So if a uh, patron uh, enterant was sh showing interest in one of those book chapters, it will be able to uh, to get a link uh, that suggests him to go and see other chapters coming from the same book. And once drilled down into this link, it will be able to get the list of those book chapters. Same goes for the other relation that I mentioned. If I will search for book, I will be able to get the list of the review, the book reviews that I found. And they actually uh, last year released uh, uh, an optimization to boost down those book reviews from the main search. Now we are uh, suggesting the patron to see them in the correlation of the book. Um, and this will be a bidirectional uh, relation as well. So this is uh, uh, upcoming. This feature is planned to be on the first half of uh, 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 2019. I just want to mention that the slide of the roadmap uh, first will show the value for uh, customers, and then the timeline that we are going to release it. It's either first going to be released or Primo or first in Primo VE. So the first we will schedule. We mentioned here the first time it's going to be a uh, release to customer, and here you can find in the highlights more detail about uh, how uh, this uh, uh, this uh, highlight is uh, this item is going to be presented. Okay, uh, so this was regarding the smart services and the creating the database graph of uh, related reading. Now I will let Christine explain more about the uh, search and ranking ongoing improvement. Christine? Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, Best. okay. I didn't press the button properly, I guess. Okay. So um, for searching and ranking, this is something ongoing. Um, as, as the slide already shows, it's not necessarily something that is part of a release, but we're we are adding it over time. Um, some things do get into go into release because they are also part of the local environment, but um, some of the things are just implemented into Primo Central over time. Um, so the, the, the two bigger um, items that we listed here is expand the use of controlled vocabulary. Um, that particularly um, applies to, to other languages. Currently, it's only done in English. Um, I should add here that it depends on the availability of language files from the community. We really rely on that because at the moment we don't have um, proper uh, language files that we can actually use for the expansion. It's not, it, it really has to, to fit. So we have to, to look at, at um, any vocabulary and, and check if it actually fits the, fits the bill here. And then the second one is the Malingo upgrade to improve the support for Hebrew searching. And again, we're doing a lot of other things at the same time. So it's not necessarily that we would list it here. 
the um, ah, okay, sorry, didn't see that you changed the slide. Okay, so for the for the second part is for the second half of 2019. Again, we are looking at language sensitive search and ranking enhancements, such as uh, boosting certain results based on the uh, user language. That is particularly helpful for those languages which are not Latin. Um, but it's still in research, so I can't really say anything uh, specific about this at the moment. But we had particularly feedback from the um, from the uh, Chinese, Korean, and Japanese, but also from from Hebrew, um, because there are just, just special requirements here. And the second one is add parameters for the static boost to improve support for non-journal content. This is really a proof of concept currently. For journal content, for journal articles, we have static parameters like um, peer-reviewed, for example, uh, peer-reviewed, non-peer-reviewed, citation counts, um, and the like. So there are very specific parameters that we can use to boost certain, certain material over other. Um, but we don't have that for non-journal content. We don't have that for books and book, uh, books and book chapters. We don't have that for audiovisual material or for other material that we are now indexing. And because we have an increasing amount of different material types and more special material that is going into the index, I think we need to look at this. And that's also something where I would like to work with the community because obviously we need to know what the parameters are that we should use for, for boosting. So this is a proof of concept. It's, it's currently a, a research project, so I can't promise that, that there is anything that we can add because we need to obviously have the parameters first. But that is, is, is also on my list to, to do for this year in this area. Okay. Thank you, Christine. So now we would like to share the features that are more uh, referring to the user, user experience. We will begin with uh, the support of citation style. Though it is a nurse from last year, we will list it this year. This is why it's been also so mentioned as part of the roadmap. Uh, what we are adding here uh, is the flexibility to add uh, any citation style that you have taken from the GitHub official repository of the citation styles that are based on CSL. With CSL, it's an XML-based format that describes citation style. Uh, having Primo align with that, and this is a nurse enhancement, actually uh, give you the flexibility to define which citation style, define which order, and even though uh, it's even uh, encourage you perhaps to go and fix the citation style uh, or create your own uh, if needed, and then it's going to be uh, uh, reflected in your system, in your Primo as well. So this is really a nice enhancement. We encourage you to, uh, uh, during this nurse enhancement uh, that are think, uh, occur actually now, uh, to raise some, some more of that to, to bring it to our attention. Uh, so this is something that already uh, released uh, in the February or January release for Primo VE. Next coming from uh, the nurse as well is the increased visibility of the citation trail. Uh, now we are uh, putting the citation the cited by and cited this indication also in the brief display uh, in order to encourage the usage and give the uh, and give the patron the ability to explore more uh, from the brief display. So this is again another nurse enhancement that we achieved we achieved to implement at the, at the beginning of the year. Enhanced collection discovery. So we have been released the collection discovery and so, uh, and so many examples and nice examples of customer implementing the collection discovery. Now we would like to enhance that um, to enhance that with the following. We would like to uh, add the option to search inside the collection. Uh, discussing with customer, uh, we understand that the mo most use um, the use case that is more common to be used is to search with the items that are uh, directly under these collections. So this is the direction that we take. The ability to filter the item in the collection that Im uh, immediately under this or, or item or sub collection is going to be released in the first half of uh, 2019. We will also add the ability to choose uh, the sort, sort by relevance, sort by title or offer, same as we have in the search results. So this is expected to be released uh, soon. Uh, in addition to that, we are 
going to improve the visibility of the collection by letting you define in Alma which, uh, uh, which four images to show here and even to show them with uh, high quality uh, images, not uh, as is happening today that we're, uh, you are, you currently uh, you are giving a thumbnail. Now you will be able to upload uh, um, Im uh, high quality image in Alma and to choose how to promote your collection with the uh, four images. You will be able you will be able to define Alma more images, and once doing that, we will think how to implement and expose more collection items using the, the rest of the images, and uh, we will have an idea on that. So this is uh, another thing that we are planning to have uh, with regarding to the collection discovery. M uh, more that, uh, more things that uh, will uh, probably happen uh, uh, during the end of 2019 is the ability to embed the Alma digital viewer in our uh, preview in the in our in the full display of Primo so this is another thing that we are planning to have so the user to save the end user additional click to go and view the actual image uh, or to go and view the PDF uh, or something like that so we will uh, embed the Alma digital viewer within the full display uh, to optimize uh, the user experience with the collection discovery. Okay, next is the link to uh, link to Leganto reading list. It is coming from the it came from the idea exchange. Um, so what we introduce here is the ability to easily navigate from an uh, item that is part of a reading list to the reading list system as well to optimize and explode the course resources, this is the idea. So if we will have a course information in our full display, this course information now uh, will be linkable. Uh, and once clicking on that, user will be able to navigate uh, to the reading list and see more about this. Uh, we also plan to give much more exposure for reading list uh, resources. Uh, within the brief results, we will offer more items coming from the reading list if one of the items uh, is part of the is part of the reading list appear in the search results. So we we will work to uh, give more, much more exposure for such uh, uh, for such materials. Next, the topic overview for show topic searches. What we would like to offer here is to uh, offer the end user uh, the ability to learn while he search. If the patron often uses uh, topics or show topics while searching or keywords, they will be able to get more information about the topic as displayed here. If I'm searching for DNA, I will uh, get a brief explanation about the topic and will be able to navigate to the full text available. Um, those, uh, um, the, the, the description is taken from one of those uh, sources that, you, that are mentioned here and we can consider to enhance based on feedback coming from you. So this is also uh, been released in the first half of 2019 in Primo and com next coming soon uh, in Primo VE. So this is regarding the topic overview. Then again, it's one uh, more. Uh, it will give the end user on top of the search results a, a, a brief explanation about uh, the topic, and of course we will boost down the reference entry from the. Uh, from the search results as explained as, as displayed uh, previously. Improve the selected of renewals in my library cards coming from the nurse uh, uh, coming from the nurse and the community that explain us that they would like to see to optimize the way the end user uh, actually uh, perform a renew. They would like to provide the ability to new, renew a bulk of loan items. So this is what uh, we actually uh, did and already been released uh, coming from the NES, uh, the ability to loan some items at once. Improve result presentation. So in, in this uh, slide, we would like to provide a better glanceability to uh, 
to specific material types such as audiovisual material, such as collection items such as reading list items. So in order to improve that, what we are planning to do is to enhance the display for audiovisual material. Uh, we previously mentioned that next, last year, but this was requiring working with the vendors to provide those thumbnails for the audiovisual. So we will hopefully uh, be able to achieve that this year. Uh, working with the vendors and exposing an audiovisual uh, material in a nice way and give like uh, uh, more glance stability for that. We also plan uh, to create a context around the results. As I mentioned, if I will have part of my search results uh, uh, item or record that is part of the collection, part of collection and appearing collection discovery, I would like to give much more exposure for other items in the collection so I can give uh, the teaser, uh, give the end user a teaser for uh, and, and, uh, for more items coming from collections. So we will uh, uh, we will give the user, uh, as Christine mentioned, uh, more push services, more the ability to see more items, not always as the search or the flat list of the search results, but when, when showing his interest, give him much more uh, uh, another format of uh, search results uh, coming for a specific material type. As I mentioned, we are going to start with collection items, with reading list items, and if you would like to feedback us of, of more like this, uh, you are welcome. Another item that is coming from the ideas is the browse, browse journals by category. We've previously released the browse database by category. Now we are planning to do more or less the same for the journals. Uh, we are going to get the categories from the Library of Congress classification and, and to provide the same user experience uh, to offer the user journals that are uh, related to this subject or category uh, upon his selection. Display the reason for the non-renewable loans in the My Library card. Then again, this is another next enhancement to optimize the way the end user uh, renew items or give more, much more explanation for the end user. If they can't renew item, give them the reason why. So we will work uh, with Alma in order to present uh, the explanation to the user, to the end user. Uh, if an item cannot be renewed, give the pattern the explanation, the, uh, the, the, the reason why it can be renewed. Um, Okay, I apply action on a bulk of records in the brief results, voted very highly also in the idea, and we saw this in all kind of flavor. We can even saw some of them raised in, uh, in, in, in several NERT items from last year. So what we would like to present here is more efficient way for the end user to send a bulk of records from the brief display to the citation manager or perhaps to email a bulk of records or um, a, a print those records, the selection items from the brief display. In, currently in the system, we are providing this in the My Favorites page. Last year, we released uh, this option, uh, uh, this efficient work against the My Library card, offering the user to apply uh, action from the on loan on several loan items or several request items. Now we would like to offer and complete this and adding and this ability on the brief results. And uh, so we are, we also plan to optimize the way to add to my favorite bulk of records by offering uh, the user to label them once it's being headed uh, to the to my favorite. So this is something that we are planning to work. Then again, this is come came from uh, the idea, um, and we put that on the roadmap. Enhanced personalization. Uh, we would like 
to uh, give the user more option to personalize uh, his experience when working with Primo and to encourage that. So discussing this, uh, discussing this with customer, we, uh, we will start to offer the user the ability to save his search preference his last search preference we will start for we will start first by offering uh, the user to store his last uh, search scope his last his preferred library or collection so they they will be there will be the option to remember my last uh, uh, search scope as if this is uh, the the most common one that is being used so for instance if i am um, so, in instance, if I am a student for music, I will be able to uh, to save the searching against the music library, uh, and it will be the system will remember that uh, per session, or if I'm signed in, uh, even if I'm logged in the next time. The second bullet that we put here is to enable the user to set default number of results. Uh, per page, so we've previously got those requests for the enhancement. Uh, so requesting to uh, set the default for all of the user. Now we are we will let the user to choose what will be uh, the default number, uh, his preferred number of results. Uh, so we put it here as again uh, as as uh, to enrich the personalization experience for the end user. Export to Mendeley, we put it also here to mention we will be we would like to add the option to export to uh, Mendeley, same as we do now for RepFox and other citation manager. So it's also planned for the second half of 2019. Okay, let's move now for the library empowerment section and see uh, the next uh, thing that we are giving you. Uh, in order to uh, give you more control uh, to, to help the end user find their material. One of the highlights that we are giving now is uh, we are giving the library the ability to better define uh, their preference again while working with books. We are offering the library the ability to blend their local books uh, collection with specific collection against the central index, specific ebook collection with the central uh, index. So far, when searching against the central index, you, you the, uh, the search uh, was uh, against all of the collections that are activated. Now we are giving much more granularity, searching against the ebook uh, collection. So we are encouraging now more. Uh, flexibility to set the institutional preference with regarding to the search scope against the central index. So we would like to hear the feedback this camp has request from the customer and would like to know and see this being implemented. So this is already released from Primo and planned in the second half of 2019 to the Primo V. Next, we let Christine uh, explain about the new look and feel. Yes. So um, we actually already released the uh, Primo Central Collection Activation, the new interface for that. Um, I hope you had an opportunity to also look at it. So um, I, I think you probably know that the um, old interface for the Primo Central Collection Activation was quite slow. So performance wasn't great, and also the usability was just not great. Um, I talk later on um, a little bit about the about the single activation, which is also something that we are planning for this year, which we have planned for a while. But because it took longer than we actually thought it would take, um, and I'll explain a little bit later, um, we also thought that it's a, in the meantime we're just renewing that page and and make it really um, nice and easy to 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 manage. So one of the things that we we uh, uh, repaired, so to speak, is the performance issue. So it's fa much faster than it used to be. Uh, it's also much better to navigate. We added on the left hand side, you can see on the screen here, the filters, the search functionality is better. And also you can see now the important information about the individual collections 
uh, much better because they are, we changed the wording a little bit based on feedback that we had, that this was not intuitive what we had. So we changed, changed the wording here, the terminology, and we hope that this is um, better understandable for people. And then also we, we put it onto the first page that we see at one, one launch, for example, if the search is free, full text, subscription, um, link to full text, it's a link resolver, if it's the link in the record, etc. So it gives you all the information at one glance. In addition, we added a note field for local notes. So for example, if you want to add an, an, a note to say why you activated something or why you deactivated something, um, then you can add the note here. It's, it's really up to you what, what you want to add. Um, that is also something that was coming, I think, in Nurse, among two other things. And so we added this already here. Um, there are also two more things coming. Again, they're coming from NERS. Um, and one is to provide more details on collections, for example, the, the number of resources that are indexed in a collection. And then also to um, show the last, uh, the last activation um, activity. So if it, it will show you when this collection was last activated or deactivated. Um, so that was also coming via NERS. And we will add it in the second half of this year. Okay, thank you, Christine. Um, in addition, another NERS enhancement that we are planning to have is the short permalink. permalink. You will be able to uh, send much more shortened permalink uh, via the chat, via the email, and you can replace it to be uh, the default one. Uh, so this is coming uh, soon as well. Um, Primo Analytics, we choose to put also a, a, a Primo Analytics to provide more improvement of that. What we are going to do first is uh, closing gaps of analytics for missing features, missing uh, analytics for features such as collection discovery. This will be completed. In addition for that, we will enhance the analytics, for instance, coming from the idea, the ability, uh, to measure which main menu entries are most used uh, for the for the end user, uh, um, um, so you will be able to know how to locate better the main menu per use based on the usage. This is one thing we would like to also give the indication when when you see uh, Primo Analytics report when it uh, that it when is the last time that this report is being based on. Uh, this is already existing Alma. We will align with that as well. Uh, and we are thinking to provide um, better analytics for exploration services, uh, not only as currently we're doing it only action-based, only when user clicked on, like for instance, resource recommender, you will see that this resource recommender is being activated. We are thinking to improve here and provide maybe the ability to offer you, uh, to uh, give you um, the idea uh, how many resource recommenders uh, were raised in the search results. So those also are being under consideration and uh, much more uh, uh, exploration services usage over the time. Uh, so this is regarding to the Primo Analytic. Next is another NERS enhancement to improve the way the email uh, is being uh, sent by the system. So we would like to give you the option to customize the email to determine which field uh, to put on the email. So this is um, something that we will work and come from the NERS, this here. And for the single activation, I will let Christine. Yes, so I mentioned this already. Um, it's been on our roadmap for a while. It turned out that it's far more technically complex than we initially thought, and this is also why it takes so long. So we decided on a different process now, and um, I'm going to talk about this um, later this year because we are still finalizing the details, but you're going to get more information on that um, throughout this year when we're getting closer or when we're closing the design. But we're definitely planning, still planning to do it, um, and hopefully we can release it um, in the second part of this year, or at least in the first release for the first 
customers and then move on into um, end of this year and, and have more customers using it. So the idea here is really that the uh, collections can be activated from Alma. So you can access Alma, you activate your uh, collections there and it's going to push through the activation to a Primo Central as well. So that, that is the idea. But again, it's, it's quite technically complex. We think we have the right solution now, but it will take us um, until the, the second half of this year to actually um, develop that. Okay. Okay, so now we will try to give the highlights of the openness as part of the product strategy to being open. And this is what we would like to highlight this here. Uh, we are referring to the uh, for the improving visibility of library materials on the web. We are referring this as a project. You will see this as ongoing through the year and even maybe later. What we are planning to do is uh, currently is to encourage the exposure of library uh, materials to the web uh, in order to help you um, uh, help you meet your today's learner uh, where they are. Uh, what we are planning to do that uh, in this direction is to apply a link data best practices and also a search engine optimization best practices uh, so that uh, there will be no uh, barrier and, and, and crawlers, the Google crawlers for instance, will be able to uh, uh, index efficiently and, and um, see better the, the materials that are choose to be uh, exported to the web by, uh, by the library. So for instance, like I can say we are just added a description, but we are description as a meta tag, but we are going to give you the customer the ability to customize what, how to describe the records uh, to the web. But we will provide the template with our best practices and give you the flexibility to change that. Uh, we've also recently improved the way the structure data is being defined using the schema.org. We improved the way it's uh, being defined and we will keep continue improving uh, in, in that, adding the link data uh, and give it and also consider to use also uh, customizable links over there as well. So uh, you will see this as an ongoing. We are working with an external consultant to help us. Uh, defining the plan for the year, how to optimize, uh, and then um, we will update uh, with each release what uh, what we did. Okay, next, uh, the Primo Studio. We would like to enhance uh, uh, more with Primo Studio. Of course, this is also. Uh, based on feedback from you. So when we introduced that at Iglo, one of the questions that was, hey, can you help us optimize the upload for the customization package? So we are soon going to release this one, uh, the ability to fetch my package uh, uh, and is immediately read our, my, my package when I'm using Primo Studio uh, and much more. And of course, your feedback is welcome while using the Primo Studio uh, to, in order to improve here. And in addition, we would like also to enhance the Primo REST API suite. Uh, we are going to enhance that with exploration services. Uh, and this will be planned for the uh, end of the year to enhance that. Your feedback while using the API is important to us in order to better prioritize uh, what is being used by the community. So having said that, I think that uh, we uh, pass through all of those uh, slides that we wanted to touch and give you uh, more explanation about the highlight. I think that now it's really a good uh, time for raising the questions. Um, 